Welcome to Vira SketchUp series. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Today, we're going to take a look at a great tool that easily creates roof in SketchUp. This is a plugin simply called Roof and it can be downloaded free in SketchUcation.com. We are here at Sketchucations homepage. Now let's click plugin store. In the search box, type roof. Here's the plugin, and the description says it all easily creates roofs with various parameters. We need to sign in before we can download this plugin. We have just signed in. Now it's ready for download. To install the plugin, we must be inside SketchUp and in the window menu, click on Extension Manager. Click Install Extension, click Manage tab, and here's our newly installed plugin from Sketchucation. This plugin seems to have no toolbar. We can find it here. Instead, we can access it by going to the extensions menu and it's right here. Now let's see how this plugin works. We're gonna create a hip roof for this house model. All we have to do is select this face, go to extensions menu. Scroll down to roof and click this one, hip roof. Let's adjust or modify some of the settings here. Let's make this 25 degrees or maybe just 22. Let's make this 0.30 meters or 0.30 meter and this one 0.80 or let's make it 1 meter and for the fascia plus soffit type let's leave it as it is and we'll just go ahead and click OK and let's see so here is our hip roof created with just a few clicks so this is the Ibs fascia size 0.30 and this is the Ibs soffit size from here to here it's one meter in the fascia plus soffit type here is the vertical fascia and here is the horizontal soffit. Let's create another hip roof. Again, we select a face. And the slope for the roof stays at 22 degrees, the Ibs fascia size at 0.30, and the Ibs soffit size is still at one meter. But this time, the fascia plus soffit type, instead of vertical plus horizontal, we are using vertical plus sloping. And let's see. So this is our vertical fascia. And here is our sloping soffit. The truss schematic layout for this one would be something like this. Here is our 
sloping soffit and in the previous settings where we have a vertical fascia and a horizontal soffit the truss schematic layout would be something like this here is the horizontal soffit I prefer these settings for my hip rope but instead of a sloping soffit I want a horizontal one just like this one to do this I need to project a guide coming from this edge and place it in this face delete this hip rope and create another one we have the same settings the roof at 22 degrees 0.30 1 meter and please note that in the fascia plus soffit type I'm going back with these settings the horizontal plus the vertical plus horizontal let's click OK select the hip group that was created and align the soffit with this guide and it's done now if we select sloping plus sloping we get this one and if we select sloping plus horizontal it's this one let's go to another type of roof the mansard or the sprocket this one and these are the settings let's just go ahead and click OK this is not the result that I wanted there should be a better one let's delete it but still we're gonna use this type of group and instead use these settings the lower slope of our roof let's make it 22 and the upper slope at 30 degrees the height of the lower roof is at 1 meter the eaves fascia 0.30 and so on we're gonna use in the fascia plus of fit type the vertical plus horizontal let's see the result I guess this is a better one let's move on to the next type of roof and that is gable ended roof now it says here pick three points and we're gonna do that one there's our first point the second one and the third let's take a quick look at our settings we have a roof slope of 22 degrees the uh, eaves fascia at 0.30 now our fascia plus a fit type is vertical plus sloping now let's see and click OK we are going to select some of these options and we're gonna take a quick look at each result let's start with blank Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you soon.